Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about how to be different, your USP, be unique, why does somebody hire you? So either way, if you're a window cleaner or anything in the home service sector, you're going to like this episode of WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you enjoy it. 300 episodes of this show. Maybe not quite 300, almost. But hundreds of episodes, six years of content, almost. And uh, some of them aren't too bad. So go back, watch, listen, all of them or any of them you want. Binge away. I know tons of you have found the podcast, went back and started listening to all of them. So that's super awesome. And a lot of you are listening on the job. So if you're listening on the job, what's up? Hey, you missed a spot. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, no, but it's anywhere podcasts are found. And of course, also on YouTube. Uh, 95% of people listen to this uh, on podcast platforms, not the YouTube. But, you know, either way works. Uh, if you are, go ahead and leave a comment uh, on YouTube. Or go ahead and review it on the podcast. Anywhere you want uh, helps me out. And that would be awesome. And if you also want to help me out, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com, the greatest place to buy your window cleaning supplies. And this is the shameless plug if you haven't heard it yet, which it works. A lot of you started using me, so that's amazing. Um, But that's what I do. I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. So uh, you can literally shop if you're logged into our site, put everything in your cart. And then when you go to the checkout, just click save this cart. Shoot me a text at 862 312-2026. 312-2026. Say, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart. Man, uh, you don't have to say it like that. But let me know, and I will go ahead and put the order in. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but I get credit for it, and I get to live my lavish lifestyle of uh, cheap sweatshirts. So, And if you also want to be awesome, uh, of course, go get yourself a subscription to the American Window Cleaner magazine. Yes! It is a real paper magazine. It's color magazine with pictures and posters and stickers. It's uh, phenomenal, actually. So uh, go and get yourself a subscription. Go to awcmag.com. Awcmag.com. Get a subscription, please. That would be amazing. Okay. Shameless plugs out of the way. Today, I want to talk about you being a unicorn. Super weird, right? But in business, you have to be unique. There's so many of us that try to just be other people, right? We try to kind of do the thing that everybody else is doing. We try to like look at what everybody else is doing and go, I got to do that. That's what works. There is no companies that are the exact same. There aren't. I mean, you can look, you know my my, uh, analogies, but look at even Coca-Cola and Pepsi. They're two very different drinks. Very different drinks. Yes, they're both colas, but the branding is way different. The colors are way different. The taste is way different. The options are way different. How they brand is different. They're selling the same thing, a soft drink, Right? It's the same thing with you and your competition. You're both selling window cleaning, but you're different companies. And this is where people really do, I think, get lost, is they try to just be the other guy. And then if you're the exact same as the other guy, what's the only thing you can change is price. And then people go and they decide to be the cheapest. I Here, let me... Let me Let me fill you all in on a little secret about myself. One of my biggest pet peeves is when people talk about price because they've never experimented with it, right? They're like, oh, well, I'm thinking about doing this coupon like $50 off. You're like, what? Why would you do that? Well, then I'll be the cheapest in town. Neat. Why would anybody hire the cheapest in town? Has anybody that you've ever gotten services from I'm like, well, this guy's way cheaper. I'll hire him because he's the cheap. Have you ever had good luck with that? No. Then you hire a company. You're like, well, they were the cheapest. 
And then you're like, well, they did crappy work, but they were the cheapest, so. And another thing is every single person I've ever talked to ever about window cleaning has said, well, I'm not the cheapest in town, that's for sure. So who's out there being the cheapest? By the way, leave a comment if you are the cheapest in your area, because I'm ragging on you. If you only sell on price, you will only sell on price, right? If all you have to offer is being the cheapest, then that is what it is, right? No one goes to McDonald's and goes, gosh, this delicacy, this McDonald's, so much better than those those fancy restaurants or anything I make at home. Oh, it's just, oh, the flavors are just exploding. They're just, no. They're like, oh, man, I just grabbed McDonald's. It's right there. Convenience. Look at their commercials. A McDonald's is selling things based on price. They always do. That's their thing. Get a double cheeseburger right now for $1 and any participating McDonald's. It's always price. There are no commercials of the elegant burger and, and, and people dressed up just enjoying this fancy, it's our wedding night, but we're eating McDonald's. Unless it's irony, because they know nobody's doing that, right? If you sell on price, then you sell on price, right? Okay, so anyway, being a unicorn is what you need to be. You have to be different than the other guys. Now, you all sell window cleaning equipment. You probably all have white trucks with something on it, right? You may do the same thing and use water fed and whatever. But I will tell you that not one of you cleans windows better. No one cares. No one cares. The clean window doesn't matter because they just know they're going to be clean. Right? It's like it's like um, a house painter. Or, or we'll say a, a mowing company. All mowing companies are the same, right? They all cut grass. You can't be one mowing company and be like, we cut grass so much better. When we get done, it is all uniform size. It's, it's the same height. Okay. In your head, you instantly think every other company, of course, is going to cut the grass the same height. Right? Now, if you're talking to that same lawn care company, they may add value, meaning, well, we also uh, blow off your walks, and we trim, and we, we weed, and we fertilize, and we do all this other stuff. That's why you should hire us. That's adding value. But no one sells window or lawn care on how good they cut the grass. We sharpen our blades every day so that the top of your blade of grass is always smooth cut, not ripped. No one would care about that, right? You have to be the same thing. You have to be different in what you offer. The hard part is you have to be different while being the same. Because you do offer window cleaning, they offer window cleaning. Here's an interesting experiment, right? Do this in your brain afterwards. I promise you it's going to blow you away. Put yourself next to three of your competitors. Three of them. You've heard of three. Two. I don't know. Whatever you think that you know well enough. Put them all next to each other. If you put all three of those together and you imagine you guys are all standing in a row like this, you know, here's one, here's the other, and a customer comes up, why would they pick you? Okay, you probably said some things or thought some things, which is awesome. But why would they pick you? What you think is probably way off. Well, I'm just so nice. Neat. So is the other guy, right? If personality is your thing, they're not going to know personality until they actually book you. That's not why they booked you. They didn't hire you because you're a nice guy. In fact, they don't care that it's you cleaning. Everybody thinks they do. That's another very, very big common misconception is that people go, well, I can't hire because people would not have us if it wasn't me. You're there once every six months. They probably do like you. And they probably make you feel very special. But they don't care. If the next guy comes in and they're just as nice as you, they'll like the next guy. 
Anybody who's ever hired employees who went from a one-man show to employees will tell you that is absolutely 100% correct. You get employees and then somebody calls and goes, oh, you're not coming? Oh, man, I sure wish you would be here. And then you go, see, yep, they wouldn't do it. Yes, they would. You just go, yeah, I apologize, you know, but as we grow, we're starting to bring in uh, things, and you know I'm always a phone call away, and if there's any issues, let me know. Okay, well, we'll give them a shot. Hopefully it's nice. They don't care. It's not you. It's not you. So what is it that makes you different? Now, if you look at it and go, well, John's window cleaning, man, they get all the work. They're like half the price. I don't even know how they're in business. Okay, they're not going to be in business for very long. They can't pay people, they can't um, advertise, they can't do a lot of that stuff. They're not getting everything because of price. And if you think they are, you didn't tell them the value. You didn't explain why they should choose you. It's not price. We're a luxury business. There are some people always, no matter what, be like, I will give you this Lamborghini for $1,000. And they're like, yeah, I'll give you a buck. Right? There's always people who have to be the cheapest and get the cheapest. Fine. That's cool. It's not necessarily up to you because you're going to lose them. And the next guy's going to lose them when they find a company that's $5 cheaper than them. But 95% of your customers, probably way more. And my company was almost 100% because the low guys, they just didn't go with me. They went with somebody else. They care about what they're getting. Why choose you? Why choose you over the other guys? Now, this is the USP. This is the unique selling point. I've talked about this a bunch, and I brush over it because this is the biggest spot that window cleaners or any service company is lacking in. When, when you find an amazing company and you look at them, I guarantee that they will have a unique selling point, a USP to their company. And you go, hey, give me your elevator pitch. I guarantee that 30 seconds, you'll be like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. A very interesting thing I brought up a bunch of times, and I haven't even seen him around, but there was a guy in the industry called Michael Geller. Uh, super good guy, super nice guy. I met him uh, 50 times in real life. We hung out. A good dude. But he said something one time that stuck with me, and this is 10 plus years ago, probably. He used to be a magician. He's amazing at being a magician, by the way. But he decided to start doing window cleaning. But one of his magician friends told him at the time, because they were talking about how to charge for everything. And uh, he told them that be Michael Geller. Basically, be unique. Because if somebody wants Michael Geller, right? If somebody wants your company because you are the best choice, they're going to pay what you want because there's only one of you. If the next guy's doing exactly everything you do, but for less, then you're not unique, right? You're not unique. We don't have the possibility to change tastes, right? Coke, Pepsi. Some people like Coke, and some people like me thinks it tastes like a can full of nickels, right? But I would rather have Pepsi because of the taste. The advertising is what gets you to want to buy said product, but we don't have the benefit of taste. If you put Coke and Pepsi next to each other, people sip it, sip it and they can go, I like that one better than that. doesn't matter. Price, they didn't talk about price. No one buys Pepsi or Coke because one's cheaper than the other because they're not. It's preference. We don't have taste, but we have experience. We have value. Now, if I go to those same three guys, remember, you're with your competition, and I ask the first guy, why should I hire you? And he goes, well, we clean the best window. Our windows are so clean that you're going to be blown away. Oh, okay. They go to the next person. What about you? And they go, well, you know, uh, we also clean the window. I bet you were better than those guys, you know. Okay. Um, neat. Okay. What about you? And they go to you. And you say, well, to start, we have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Of course, our windows are immaculate. If you ever have a problem with that, you let us know. You don't pay a dime until you're absolutely 100% happy. 
no risk. We also have a seven day rain guarantee. So if the rain dirties your windows within seven days, we protect against mother nature. And our company wants to be on the most elite level we can be. And because of that, we have a $5 million insurance policy. So even if the unforeseen happens, your property is absolutely covered. We take our shoes off and wear booties in our house, in your house, every time. We always send two texts to provide a safety and security for either them and you. We also are fully bonded. So if anything comes up, again, you are protected. With all that being said, our packages can go anywhere from basic to ultra premium covering every possible aspect of your external or exterior cleaning. Right? If you start going on and you start doing all of this, you put all that stuff out there. And even if I stop right there, you heard all the things that I said. None of those are things you probably don't even have. You probably have all of those. You got guy one, guy two, and you. We'll go, they're hiring you. None of us talked about price. Not one of us talked about price. They don't even know the price, but they know it would be ridiculous to not hire you. That's why you want to be different. That's why the value you have is above the next guy. It's the value of you. You're unique. Why? If I don't go with you, I'm not going to get X, Y, Z. The unique things. We always have this. By the way, if you're watching on YouTube, please, I, even if you're not watching YouTube, go and find this episode and put in what you think your USP is. Please put in your unique selling. What makes you absolutely unique? Put it out there. Let's see if it's really unique. It's the hardest part of business is finding what makes you unique. It's the hardest part. But unique just means different. It doesn't mean anything else. Right? If there is one part to you that the other people don't have, it makes you unique. Now, when I'm selling on being unique, there's one of you. Right? Uh, as I've talked to you very briefly, I do private coaching, which I have a position open, by the way. Anyway, I have, uh, I do private coaching, right? But when somebody um, does coaching, I'm absolutely honored. Absolutely. It's amazing that I get to help people double their companies in years and increase their bottom line and do all of this other stuff and really get into companies. That's the, the fun for me is to be able to be an asset for people. But the people got me because I'm me. Anybody could probably be a coach or to help or to whatever. But there's kind of one me. That's what I bring to the table is that I'm me. If you like my ideas, maybe then you want to tap into specifically me. There isn't another person that is just like me. There's people probably similar, but there's not anybody just like me. Just like there is not one person that is just like you, right? As a human, you're individual. You're an individual. You probably got people who have some of the same likes. Even your best friend does not like everything you like. And you do not like everything they like. Maybe you're into football, they're into hockey, but you're still best friends. If you're unique as a person, what makes your company unique? Make their choice for them. That's the big thing. When you don't have a USP or you're not unique, they then have to have that thought and go, well, if you said, this guy says, I clean, I make windows clean. And you say, I make windows clean. And the next guy says, I make windows clean. That, what you said, washes it out. That's why you can't advertise on how clean your windows are. It's, it's uniform. It's, it's a universal. Okay, so all three of the people said the exact same thing. It, what does it do? It washes it out right? If you're on a, a dating game show and the first guy says, hi, I'm 29. And the next one says, hi, I'm 29. And the third guy says, hi, I'm 29. Well, they're all the same age. So then it age doesn't matter. 
See what I'm saying? If your unique point is the same as everybody else's, it does not count then. It's not unique, so it gets washed off. I clean windows. I clean windows. I clean windows. That is taken off. You don't have to tell them that because it's already removed from their brain. That did not make their choice. What made their choice is all of the other things that add value and make it a ridiculously dumb idea to go with anybody else. How are you unique? The hardest part of this whole thing is finding out how you're unique and coming up with real things that are unique. Unique means there's one of them. It's really, really, really hard to find something that makes you unique, right? Very hard. Once you have those, now you have to tell people. That is creating your value. That's creating your value. Once you have value, your value can be more than the other guy. Value does not equal price and price does not equal value. It doesn't. I'll give you a example because you know I love my analogies. Uh, I worked for a credit union in a former life for a very long time and uh, I would get some rejected coins so I kind of like collected weird coins because we had a coin machine and they'd come up and go, this coin doesn't work and I'd give them whatever. On top of that one time we were filling um, CDMs which was like the cash dispensers, right? And there happened to be two star notes which just means that there was an error in the bills and the star notes were consecutive numbers, so... Serial numbers and a little star. Pretty common, but having two of them like that, not so common. But they were brand new from the mint, and I told the teller, like, I'll buy those two $10 bills from you. Uh, just, I'll give you 20, you give me two tens. Okay, so I got them for $20, right? Two $10 bills. That is their price. Well, I decided I wasn't really going to collect paper money, and I put them on eBay. This is back in the eBay days, which apparently still is a thing. Put them on eBay, and I sold two $10 bills for $280. That is their value. If I just said, hey, excuse me, sir, I have two $10 bills. Would you like to buy these from me? And that's all I knew. All I could focus on is their price. Okay, well, here's a 20. Give me two 10s. But if I said, hey, to you, who's a bill collector, these are very rare notes, do you want these? You'd be like, well, yeah, I'll give you $280 for them. That's the interesting part. That is price versus value. Price is just the cost of a good. Value is what you get for that good. Now, if you go and buy a Chinese something and it's just garbage and it's like a, a percentage of the price of anything else and you buy this thing off of like amazon and it's like well, all these other ones are a hundred dollars but this one's three up three bucks when you get it what happens you find out it's junk and you go well it was only three bucks the only thing you knew was price you're not that you're a luxury company why be the the chinese junk and before you tell me i hate china that was just an analogy for that you know what i'm saying you have to have your value. Your value has to be unique. And the value is why somebody would hire you. Because again, if you have the same as the next guy, has the same as the next guy, then there is no value. It's a wash. Because it's off the table. Each of you are 29 years old. Age, is in a pro age doesn't matter then. Right? Okay, so we got the people. They are now your customer. Now we talk about keeping them. Keeping them, by the way, I'm not going to get into because of this. Keeping them is more valuable in my head. Having them do repeat and be regular customers and getting their frequency up even more is more valuable than getting new customers. Because it costs you way less to keep somebody happy and you'll make way more by doing that. Okay, as a side note. But your experience is now what keeps a customer you showed them the value. You can't show them an experience until you actually show up there. When people go, wow, my texts are so nice. Awesome. That's not your unique selling point. Everybody's nice, right? 
Oh, we do this and this and this and this is the, uh, that's the experience. So when everything is said and done and you gave them an awesome experience, A, you met their expectations. You did everything you're unique about. They were blown away by what you did, right? When you left, you gave them a, a brownie with your logo and gift cards and you, you, you played a trumpet, whatever that is, right? You were unique in your experience, but the experience is what keeps people coming back. They know you're unique. They've had that experience. They said that experience was like nothing I've ever had before. For all of you, by the way, my uh, email is jersey at windowcleaner.com. If you want to write me an angry letter about this, you sure can. Uh, or leave it in the comments. You can always even text me and tell me I'm wrong. It's cool. Like We don't have to have the same opinions. I'm just some dude who sits in front of a painted on what green screen, which to you guys doesn't look like a green screen. Oops. Anyway, um, when you have an experience, it trumps price. Always. Always, right? The part that makes you mad, not all of you, but a lot of you are going to say, people hire me again. How, how, do you get, how do you get repeat, right? How do you get repeat? In order to get repeat, people go, well, they liked me, right? Oh, man, just do good work and you'll get repeat. Do great work and you'll get repeat. Do good work and they'll come back. Why you're incredibly wrong. And that's absolutely the wrong way of doing it. By the way, it's just my opinion. Do things how you want. It's your business. I'm just some dummy who apparently uses too much hair gel. Anyway, the reason that's wrong is because show up to somebody's house. Do the exact same job that you always do. Do good work. Smoke a cigar on the drive over there. Keep your shoes on. Talk on the phone the whole time. Swear to your friends. Turn on some nice heavy metal music on a radio and listen to it while you clean. Don't talk to the homeowner at all. But do the exact same work. Same quality, do great work. In fact, do better work than you've ever done before. How many of you are getting called back? Zero. None of you are getting called back after doing that. Why? The experience was terrible. This guy came in, he reeked. Oh, I stunk. They were swearing. He got mud all over my carpet. Right? The, the guys, they talk like sailors. One guy has got B.O., How'd the windows turn on? I, the windows were fine, but the guy... No one cares about 90%, 200% awesome. Nobody's hiring you because you did good work. That's probably maybe a side of it. If you did crap work, that's different than doing good versus great work. But good versus great, both get you calls. Both are, are fine because they wash themselves out. It's the experience that gets you repeat, people. It's the experience. You create an awful experience, you do not get callbacks. Right? So be the unicorn. Create something that's unique. Deliver what's unique. That gets somebody to say yes to you. That is all the parts that keep you in the game closing high, getting new customers, getting new work, new jobs, new buildings, new everything. Show them your value, but then create the experience to keep them. Now, I'm talking about being unique, and that has mostly to do in the initial part, but the experience is just as important to be unique. It has to be amazing and blow them away. When you blow somebody away, they're not even going to ever look at anybody else because you've shown them the experience. You've shown them why you're unique. You've shown them your value. Once they get the value, the next guy comes and goes, hey, I could do it cheaper. They go, I don't care. No. If you're a Harley guy and somebody goes, hey, you know Hondas are half the price? You go, neat. 
I am a Harley guy. Because you want Harley. There is only one Harley. You don't trade in your Harley because Honda's cheaper. Every bike's cheaper than a Harley. If you're a Harley guy, you like Harley because of it's a Harley. Think about that the next time you decide to separate yourself from the next window cleaner. Okay. I'm off my high horse. But if you're still here, thank you. I'm going to give you another shameless plug that does work quite well. And I hope it works on you. But I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. I would love nothing more than for you to use me for your supplies. You got to buy stuff. Let me know. My number is 862-312-2026. That's a cell phone. Call me. Text me. Please. Save your cart. Let me know. I want to put in everybody's orders. It means the world to me. I get credit. That's how I get paid. So if you want to give me a virtual high five, do that. Another way I get paid is by you getting a subscription to AWC Magazine. The American Window Cleaner Magazine, I purchased now two years ago. Almost. Almost. And we have quadrupled, no, but octentadrupled. Anyway, we've like 500% grown. And I want to grow even more. I want everybody to have a subscription. So go to AWC, MAG, do me the biggest favor, and order yourself a subscription. And heck, let me know you got a subscription. I'd be super genuinely, genuinely happy about that. Anyway, please use me for everything. Uh, Please continue to be absolutely amazing. And until next week, go out there and be a unicorn. Tell me what your USP is. But more importantly, be epic.